If the United States was throwing a house party and the states are people, what is your state doing at the party? Bath salts, meth, margaritas. Sup Florida. I'm actually not invited, just brought the tacos you ordered, amigo. Edit, RIP inbox. So glad you liked your tacos. Edit 2, for those wondering, I brought 20% chicken, 40% pasta and 40% steak. Edit 3, apparently Puerto Rico also has tacos. Or something. Abstaining from most of the partying while politely, yet somewhat insecurely, trying to convince others to join us in our decision. Are you Utah? Indeed. Do you have a moment to step aside from this racket talk about our Lord? Every freaking opioid in existence edit. I'm talking about Ohio, but I guess it applies to way more than just here. Playing duck duck gray duck. Smoking weed and discussing environmental science. Hello Washington, welcome to the party. Hasn't made it to the party yet. Stuck in traffic because of road work. Michigan. Gotta be fricking. Probably telling California about the wonderful world of hunting and shooting, drunk AF. We brought kalachis, though. Obligatory RIP my inbox if you'll want a taste of Texas. You can order online from Heb, except CA and Whataburger. Texas is also home to some of the world's best chocolate. Drinking, while suggesting to burn a couch outside because why the frick not? Maybe because our college just won the game. This is of course after a long day of muddin' and bangin' some heroin. Raving about how great Chicago is even though I live in Rockford. If you're within an hour or two of Chicago, you basically just tell everyone you're from Chicago. Eating gumbo, boiled crawfish, and drinking Dixie beer. Putting Old Bay on all the snacks. Wisconsin is doing a keg stand and making brandy old fashions for people in the kitchen. We'll bring the good bourbon and make you a mint julep. Or just drink it straight from the bottle, whatever. It's sister. Toll ride. Colorado is smoking live resin out of the latest PAX model. Wearing Patagonia or Ariagia. Drinking a beer you've never heard of from its favorite craft brewery. And humble bragging about its most recent hike, climb or ski trip, even if it was a year ago. My state would be the first one there, and would constantly brag about it all night. Getting blasted on yingling and being a total dick to anyone, anyone, who disrespects our favorite NFL team. But it's all good because we'll get use Wawa coffee in the morning. Hi, we're the neighbors who live upstairs. Sorry to be a bother, but we're a little concerned that your house seems to be on fire. Frick off Canada we can hold our liquo. Falls face first on a big red button. Smoking a joint, but off in a corner, or maybe in the backyard. We still feel kind of shady about it because tea's sorta of been legalized, but we, the governor, hasn't signed the bill yet. In the middle of arguing politics with New Hampshire we discover a bud in our beard, and discreetly pocket it. No clue, didn't know Canadian provinces were invited to US parties. But yay, probably the designated driver. Sorry, Utah has that covered. Arizona, getting drunk and threatening California. You invite Tennessee to the party, 
but three people show up at the door. It turns out that there are three Tennessee brothers, and they're nothing alike. East Tennessee is the most stereotypical redneck of the brothers. He's obsessed with football. It's all he talks about to the point of it being annoying. He loves bluegrass music and plays the banjo. In spite of this, you're also secretly jealous that he has better internet service than everyone else. Middle Tennessee is the yuppie brother. He's intelligent, well-educated, and successful. It seems that everyone at the party is going to him hoping that he can find them a job. He puts on a good face, but he'd rather people just stay away from him. He's secretly a bigot, but he tries to hide it so it doesn't hurt his business dealings. He claims to listen to country music, but most of it sounds like pop. West Tennessee is the roughest looking of the brothers. He's obviously poorer than his siblings, and you're pretty sure that he spent some time in jail. He has a reputation for treating people like crap. But it's mostly because everyone else including his brothers neglected and abused him for years. He makes the best barbecue though, and you have to admire his taste in blues music. Taking everyone's bets on the ball game, and then later, making sure the alien body is still secure in the basement. Trying not to punch the next fricker in the face who makes a Wizard of Oz joke. Running the cornhole tournament. Smoking brisket and drinking shiner. Live in North Carolina. We'll be redistricting the seating so we get 80% of the food and booze. Trying its best not to catch on fire. Still complaining about college football while leaning on a lifted truck. Accidentally bumping into everyone and saying op. Is it literally anywhere in the Midwest? NY we would be at the door charging a cover. Maryland is giving everybody crabs. In backyard drinking a shitty Miller Lite watching a meteor streak through the sky showing people where you live by using your hand like a mitten. Not being invited because many don't know New Mexico is not Mexico. 